All right. Hey, Tyan, why don't you read rule number one for us, nice and loud. Treat yourself with love and respect. That's right. Here comes Emily. What do we do when we treat ourselves with love and respect? First of all, give ourselves a big hug. Good. And a nice stretch. Another side. Good. Hi, Emily. Hi, sorry I'm late. No, don't worry. We're glad you're here. Good. Jack, do you want to read rule number two? Yes. Respect each other's space. So we don't want to be disruptive in a call or making too much noise or if something's going on in the background, we can mute really quick, right? Or not be too close to somebody. Right. If we were practicing together, we would say, you know, don't touch each other and stay off of each other's mats, respect each other's face. Okay. Why? Rule number three, Emily, my favorite rule. <gasps> no shoes on the mat. Let me see those beautiful feet. <laughs> it looks like she has shoes on. Oh, look at all those toes. Yay. No socks today. <laughs> no socks. It must be warm out. All right. The next rule, I'll read it, is rule number four. Use positive self-talk. And Jack, can you read these nice and loud for us? I'm strong. I'm in control. I can do it. I can be responsible. Awesome. And rule number five, Tyen, if you are struggling, what should we say? I couldn't hear him. I'm not ready for that, or I have not for that learned yet. that yet. Or I have not learned that yet. That's it. Now we heard you. Nice work. How about we start today with some Holman Sphere breaths? Um, Madden, how many Holman Sphere breaths should we do today? Seven. Nice. Emily, will you count for us nice and loud? Yes. Can okay. you hear me? I can hear you really good. Okay. Emily, we're going to sit up nice and tall. Grab that imaginary string on the top of your head and pull yourself up. Good. If you want to make a Hoberman sphere with your fingers, you can. And Emily's going to count us seven belly breaths. Are we ready? Here we go. Breathe in. One. <laughs> Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Nice. Six. Good. Last one. Seven. Nice job, Emily. I like how you waited to count until the ball was closed. It was nice and loud. Thank you. So our feet are about hip width apart. Our leg muscles are engaged. Our tummy muscles are engaged, strong. And send your laser beam fingertips down to the ground. Nice, strong mountain. Good. Emily, what do we say in mountain pose? What's a positive self-talk that we say? I am strong. I am strong. Okay. On the count of three, let's hear you guys say it. One, two, three. I am strong. Good. Okay. So that little seedling has grown up to a little tree now. Now let's do a little tree practice. So we're going to lift up one of our legs. See if we stay balanced. And then we can be a tree, a low tree, right, like this. Or we can start to get taller. Good. 
tree. Ooh, you guys are strong today. Solid. Nobody's even wiggling. Good work. All right, shake that off. Let's try tree on the other side. All right, so mountain is strong. We're gonna raise up our foot. Let's go, I'm gonna start off high today. There we go, whoa. Maybe I better lower it a little bit. There, tree, nice and balanced. All right, so our little seedling is going into a tree. Now let's try one more challenge. Let's raise our branches up really high. Good. You're all so balanced. Strong trees. Okay, let it go. Come back to mountain, nice and strong and engaged. And Jack, what kind of tree did you become? Um, a apple tree. Ooh, good choice. Then you can have a snack whenever you want. Emily, how about you? I became a fantasy tree, which is an LOL growing and juggling tree. Oh. I bet you it's colorful. Is it a colorful tree, Emily? Yes, very colorful. <laughs> and Kyan, what kind of tree did you become? I couldn't hear you, Kyan. Can you come a little bit closer? A maple tree. <gasps> maple tree. Is that so you can get maple syrup whenever you want? Yes. <laughs> I have to change mine to maple tree. Maple Good. Syrup. We're going to do, today I went to yoga and I did, we'll see if the Meehan boys pop back on. If they don't, it'll just be me and you, Jack. We'll go a few rounds. Yeah. So do you want to start? Yep. All right. Today I went to the yoga class and I did, um, Flying Eagle. Ooh, you're starting with a hard one. All right, let's do it. Flying Eagle. Ooh, balance. Good. All right. All right, let's switch legs. Today I went to yoga class and I did Flying Eagle. And then I did eagle. <laughs> All right, your turn, Jack. What was the last one you were saying? I did, I went to eagle. Yeah? Yep, you started at flying eagle, and then I went to eagle. So make sure every time we do it that you keep switching legs, okay? Yep, that's it. Now it's your turn. Today I went to yoga class and I did eagle pose. I mean, flying eagle. Yep. And then eagle pose. Yep. And then I did dancer. Ooh, lots of balancing today. This is awesome. Good. Okay, make sure to switch your legs so you're getting both sides, okay? So today I went to yoga class and I did flying eagle. Ooh. And then I did eagle. Ooh, it's a tricky one. Good. And then I did dancer. Good. And then let's give ourselves a break. And then I did crescent moon on both sides. Good. Okay, go ahead and lie flat on your back. And let's just do a quick body scan before I read a story today, okay? So close your eyes. Wiggle your toes. 
And I want you to just notice your toes and your feet. Notice the temperature of your feet. Notice if your feet feel heavy or light. Next, move your attention up to your knees. How do your knees feel? Maybe wiggle them a little bit. Do your knees feel heavy or light? Move your attention up to your tummy area. Notice if your tummy feels empty or full. Maybe it's making some gurgling noises, trying to tell you something. Let's take one deep breath and make our tummy rise up tall. Ready? Here we go. Good. Next, bring your awareness to your shoulders. Let me give your shoulders a little wiggle. Notice if your shoulders feel heavy or light. And then let's bring your attention to your head. Maybe rock it back and forth a little bit. Notice the temperature of your head. Does your head feel warm or cold? Does your head feel heavy or light? Now notice where your hair connects to your head. Can you feel that? Can you feel where your hair connects? All right, go ahead and lay comfortably. And I'm gonna read you a story. And I'm gonna read you a story about hidden beauty. So lie with your eyes closed and take three deep breaths. Good. Feel yourself relaxing more and more with each breath. Feel your muscles relax, and your heart, and your breathing slow, and say to yourself, I am calm and relaxed. I am calm and relaxed. I am calm and relaxed. Picture yourself standing around a small, odd shape evergreen tree. Snow covers your boots and numbs your toes. The wind is blowing and your cheeks are red. The tree you have chosen is one of the last ones on the lot. It is bare and bent, but full of possibilities. Shake the tree and watch a few of the needles litter the snow below. You bring the little tree home. Feel the warmth and security of your home. Take off your scarf, your hat, your gloves, boots, and finally your coat. You feel calm and relaxed as you look at your little tree leaning proudly in the corner. As you breathe deeply, you notice the smell of pine needles. Study the tree. The more you look at it, the better it gets. The tree would look best in front of the window for all to see. It stands straight up and its branches seem to strengthen as you drape on the lights, the tinsel and the ornaments. Concentrate on the music playing in the background and think of a time when you decorated a tree. Remember the bright colors, the holiday tastes and smells. Remember the warm and peaceful feelings you had. 
Feel calm and relaxed. As you sit and look at this beautiful tree nature has made and you have decorated. Now it's time to plug in the string of lights. The glow lights up many packages beneath the tree. Plug in the middle lights and watch as the tinsel and ornaments seem to come alive and dance on the sturdy branches. Plug in the top light and the ceiling illuminates warmth and contentment. Feel proud of your little tree. Its beauty and bright lights energize you. Breathe in deeply a pine scented air and say to yourself three times, I always look at the positive side of things. I always look at the positive side of things. I always look at the positive side of things. You have the power to find beauty in everything around you. Take a deep breath, return to your room, open your eyes and stretch, and take a few moments to appreciate the good feelings that come with relaxation. It looks like Kai is asleep. Yeah, I think we got him pretty relaxed.